Hello, welcome to Bartians. Uh, we're going to do a round of Don't Touch Me. We're going to do a round of what we Didn't like sign to sign up for that game. <laughs> no, the game is not Touch Pool. Okay. Oh, is it? Touch no, Pool? No, it's no, not. No, that's good. Oh, we won, then we're safe. Yeah. I win. Where do I have to touch you? We're playing a game <clears throat> called... <laughs> it started already. Oh, my God. What's the game called? Well, I'm glad you passively, aggressively asked. It's Off Brand Brand Off. Shall we do the jingle? Yes. Did a little, 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 little. Off Brand Brand Off. 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 Who's Brand Off? Let's try again, Paul. You just do the diddly little, little and I go mad. All yeah. right, right. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's off brand, brand off. Diddle little, 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 little. Off brand, 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 off brand, 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 off brand, 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 off brand. So, it's a so successful segment on our Cheap Show I, podcast. I'm beginning to see why, why you're finding it hard to boost the listening figures of your podcast. It's getting really hard. But I'm really enjoying this podcast. Oh, here comes a theme tune. Yeah. Ah! What happens is, on the show, on our podcast, we like to test brand food against knockoffs. Oh, you know? nice. And see if, A, the knockoff is better, whether you can recognise the brand itself, and whether for the price you're getting better with the off-brand, okay? okay? So what I've got is I've got three types of food you can get in an Aldi, a Poundland, a Lidl, and I'm going to test them up against you brand. You haven't done Aldi chocolate, have you? No. Good, because I'm doing a video on that soon. I don't want it to look like I've nicked it off this. But don't worry, we nick a lot from you. So it's not as if, oh, I shouldn't have said that. Right, so I've got three items of food for you. You're going to be blindfolded so you can't see what I'm putting in your mouth. And it's a taste test alone, all right? So the first Perfectly natural. food we're going to be eating today are Jaffa Cakes. Right, so we don't need a blindfold then? No, you don't right now, but Jaffa oh, Cakes are that. a... Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's a it's a sponge cake. You've got a massive a like, nose Jaffa. on it, it's awesome. Uh -huh. It looks like an avant-garde Muppet. <laughs> 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 so right. I have got two types of Jaffa Cakes, the McVitie's brand and a brand I got from Lidl by a company called Sonde. And what's going to happen is I'm going to offer Ooh. you a Jaffa Cake each. Yes. But I won't tell you which one I'm going to give you first, whether it's the off-brand or the brand, OK? So, masks on, everybody. I need to leave my mouth exposed, I assume. You do need to oh, leave God, your mouth yeah. exposed. <laughs> I can't actually ready? see a thing. It hurts my eyes. It's actually resting yeah. on my eyeballs. Oh, lovely. I've got elastic uh, around my eyeballs. I'm the only one who isn't uh, in massive uh, discomfort, so geez. go me. Discomfort is part uh, of the game. I feel like some Scottish man's attacking my eyes. Put your hand out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's much better. Put your hand out. I'm offering your first Jaffa blink. cake, but I will not tell you if it's the brand or off-brand. <laughs> So, one for Stuart, one for Eli, and one for Ugh. Barry. Jesus. Barry, put Ow. your hand out. I've got, like, Jaffa hair in my mouth right. already. Right, here is Jaffa cake one. Mm. You can now give it a sniff and a taste and oh, tell me what you think. Oh, can we do it by feel as well? You can if feeling is, you think, your thing. Do we These are scientific, very scientific methods. Have we all got the same one at the moment? Yes, then? you've all got okay. the same brand, but I'm not going to tell you if it's real. I've sniffed real. it. Mm. Yes. It's a strong Jaffa scent, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's real. Mm. What makes you say that? It tastes like a real java cake. <laughs> right, OK. <laughs> but maybe the knock of one is just really good. I shall withhold my... Uh... Eli, what do you think it is? Are you saying brand on or brand off? Well, when I, it's funny you should ask that. So when I'm... <laughs> it's not funny, it's the game. <laughs> it's, the <name. laughs> it's the rules. All oh, right, is that where I am? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, yes. when I sniffed it, yes. I thought, ooh, it doesn't have that chocolatey smoothness that I expect from the McVitie's company. Mm. Um, but... When I bit into it, it's the cake aspect. Mm. Having done this type of test before with Jaffa Cakes, I noticed with the off-brand Is product, it a broth off-brand or not? Oh, for f Come on. I noticed that it was a bit stale tasting the cake on the off-brand product before. This does not have that staleness. Therefore, In my experience, the cheaper Jaffa Cakes do have harder uh, cakey bits. Yeah, mm. it's mm. And more stale, more sort of a cardboardy stale aftertaste. Okay, so are you that, saying this is brand on? Well, I don't I get to taste both first. Yeah, but that's why I, I was going to ask that. All right. Yeah. I think it's the knockoff one because uh, there's not much jelly. It's, there's a crater in it. The biscuit's a bit naff, and the, there's a lot of chocolatey. There's, there's a smaller rim. No, there's a larger rim area. Okay. So well, you've got your less hand out. Um, Jaffa cake two is coming now. Hand out. That's Here we go. Yeah. yeah. Jaffa cake number two. Here we go. This is. The, I can already tell you this is off brand because it oh. feels much smaller. Oh. Oh. So he's going by size alone, Eli. 
Yeah, there's a the chocolate rim is much narrower. Mm. Yes, yes. The margin We've all of had chocolate. that problem. We, yeah, we know and what you say about narrow rims on this channel. Mm. There's no smell. There's Eli. no cocoa smell coming off no. in the old factory. Old, the old I will old say that the cake bit is still very spongy and soft. That's quite good. But the Jaffa bit is far more potent. Yeah. It's much thinner, isn't it? And the yep. rib, there's actually a more ribbed texture on the yeah, earlier one. This is one, clearly the off-brand. The ribbed uh, for your pleasure. Yeah, Barry. whatever the hell the make was. <laughs> okay, so you've got the Eli. sugar pumping out. You've got this taste here, taste there. No amplitude. I'm in a world without amplitude with this one. Right. So your first biscuit you're saying is McVitie's, and the second one is off. What do you think? What Definitely this one. The first one is on brand. Ah. Yeah. The second is fucking bullshit. It's well off, isn't mate. It? Um, and Barry. First one's a Jaffa cake, the okay. second one's a Jaffa cake. Congratulations, um, you've missed the point of the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, McVitie's first, this, yeah, the second one, the, the jelly's got like a battery acid sort of tang to it. Okay. I don't really like. You are all very correct. Yes. Thank you. As an interesting aside, if you didn't have the money to spend on Jaffa cakes, because they can be quite expensive, would the knockoff ones be a, a good trade-in? Absolutely in? not. Yeah. They're no? nasty, yeah. No, I'm, I, 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 they're kind of high quality in the way they're made, but I don't like the way they've tuned the Jaffa to be too sort of bitter and extreme. Okay, well, let's move swiftly on if to I was hung over, number two. If you were hungover, yeah. you'd be all if right. If I was hungover, I'd smash back a pack of those. In, yeah, easy. That's a boy. That's a boy. <laughs> That's a boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, my eyes. Right. Also, in terms of the shape, you know, you, you're not, you want that wide brim on it, don't you? You do. It just doesn't feel like a proper we Jaffa It needs to be like a gentleman's hat. Yes. We have closed the book on Jaffa cakes. We are moving on now oh. to... Crispy snacks. Ooh. And in the UK, there is a bacon flavoured corn Frazzles. snack called Le Frazzles. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Frazzles. Now, they're a popular crisp in the UK. We have Frazzles there. And we have, again, I bought these from Aldi. These are by a company called Snacktastic, and they're called Bacon rashers. Are they the ones that come from the same place as well, effectively? Like the thing that happened with the hula hoops recently? Well, when they Maybe. sell them, same, they keep what? the same colour scheme. Like with the Jaffa, it's like blue box, orange writing, mm. Frazzles. Brown writing with a slightly kind of yellowy, bacony tinge to the writing. It's the font. Because you hear about the hula hoops thing where they actually, someone bought a pack from Lidl or Audi and they opened it and it was the cheap version, but actual hula hoops were in it because it oh, really? proved that it came from the same place, yeah. So here is the first of the uh, frazzle or not frazzle. Are you ready, yeah. Barry? Here is your yep. first. Stuart, here is your next. I had a packet of frazzles yesterday, so I reckon I should be pretty and well paced. Eli, there's yours. Is it? I'm going in for a sniff. Brand yeah, or off too. brand? Have a sniff. It's quite rectangular. Ooh, it smells about right. Yeah, it smells. Yeah. In my experience, the Ooh. cheaper ones are slightly softer. They don't have the coherency of the... Uh, mm. This is all very interesting. Yeah. Definitely bacon -y, isn't it? Yes, that is the, the, the gimmick I can frazzles. tell you immediately <laughs> that is the off-brand. Oh, the ash and straight in uh, there. It's, it's kind of less dense. It's slightly softer. More mazy. Um, is it more mazy? Yeah, it's more mazy. More mazy. Good description. You're going straight for the texture. Yeah, yeah. and the um, flavour isn't quite strong. I am going to... Withhold? Withhold my judgment. Um, and then pull out the last minute. I, I wish to make my judgment now that that was the off-brand and okay. therefore the other will be on-brand. Here is it. The and smell. Barry, hand out. It doesn't have a strong oh, that's, smell. That's heavier. Mm. Okay, where are you thinking this like is the second one? Down there. Yep, I was correct. You, so you're confident that was the real frazzle? That was the real frazzle. I mean, it, it has is the so much better, isn't denser. it? Yep. It is so obviously better. The texture... I don't mind the other ones. But these yeah. are better. Much crispier. Yeah. It's got a lovely coherent crispiness from, from first bite to last bite. Do you believe, though, that the taste of the real frazzle has degenerated over the years through the health crazy media forcing companies such as Smith's mm -hmm. to reduce the salt and fat content of their flagship brands? Uh, there is, yes, I think it has gone down slightly, but I would argue with the reason. It's not because of any media pressure, it's because they think they can save money by doing it, or they can sell more by buying into a healthy narrative. Bring back real frazzles. Yeah, bring mm. back the... You know what I have to... I've, I've been sent packing to the, uh, to the Smith's triumvirate of bar snacks. You've got your cheesy moments, oh, your scampy fries, scampy fries. And, and, most importantly, oh, yeah. the bacon bits, whatever they're Astonishing. called. Astonishing. Yeah. With, that's like a proper frazzle. Yeah. That's like a posh frazzle. So that's Eli, like, it's still a bacon crisp though, right? At this point, that's oh, the kind yeah. of frazzle you take out in a with a uh, with a point, chauffeur and you take her to sort of Tiger Tiger and <laughs> show her a good time. This is why you're single. So make a decision. This is why I'm single. Well there are loads of reasons why you're single. <laughs> this is but one of them. Yeah. 
Eli, make a decision. What do you say was the it's first? Easy, oh. It's easy, Paul. It's easy. The so second the... one was the real frazzle. Yep. Okay. On texture alone. On texture yep. alone. Yeah. Even if you blocked my nose, I would have been able to tell that. Barry, where do you stand on yeah, all this? Yeah, the same. It just felt like like it was worth more money. It felt heavier. Felt, yeah. It felt yeah. real. Yeah, and it smelled <laughs> and tasted like bacon more. Like the, you got that initial Unreal frazzle. bacon hit, but then this one sort of... It was a smoky vibe after. It felt, okay. yeah. So you're saying the same as everyone else. First one was yeah. off brand and the second one was frazzles. Yep. yep. Well, you will be surprised to know then that you're all correct. Yeah. Oh, so okay. you are right. The first was the off brand. But again, same question. If you didn't have the budget to spend on frazzles, would you uh, go crazy with the snack tactics? Absolutely yes. not. No, I would. Uh, no, I would. Okay. I don't think there's as much between them. Like a cheap the kid's party. You don't want to spend yeah. tons on frazzles. Do you know exactly. the price Knock-offs. difference or... Uh, the frazzles uh, were, I think, one pound fifty for a bag of eight, and the snack tastics were ninety p. I think in uh, mm. in Aldi. Do you know what? If I went around someone's house and them. they tried to to pawn their cheap knockoff frazzles off on me, I'm out the door. Yeah. The date's over. Again, one of the many reasons why you're single. So finally, give me fake crisps. I'm not going to give you fake love. <laughs> well, <laughs> you probably would. <laughs> Um, right, so finally on the docket tonight, we're going full on chock tastic. Oh, yeah. We are putting Snickers, Ooh. the chocolate peanut uh, snack, up against Mr. Chock and his peanut and choco bar. Oh, That's... we have those at home. So I'm going to open them, snap a bit off so you don't get an idea of the overall bar shape and size. So you're just tasting the chocolate. Wise. Okay, so. Somebody Stuart, wants to tell me. your hand out. Hang Here's up. yours. Somebody wants to tell me that uh, the pot noodles, cheap ones in Aldi, were exactly the same as a normal pot noodle. I can believe that, man. Pot. I can believe so it. So I bought them to try it, and that person was a fucking imbecile. <laughs> it could not have been more different. The ah. entire ingredients were different. The texture, the taste, Everything. even the ingredients list. And the Aldi one was genuinely inedible. It was disgusting. Well, here is your first choc bar. Is it Snickers or is it peanut and choco Mr. Choc Choc bar? I think there's a few like things with this snicker that you can mm. tell. There's a little bit of a text I or think the peanuts a rib on the will be the answer because the peanuts and cheap stuff never taste quite good. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I can smell a snickery scent in this first one. This actually. tastes exactly like Snickers. Yeah. That's what that was exactly my thoughts, Stuart. And that, it's nice. It's got if I dare dare I say it, it's got a good amplitude between the um, and uh, yeah, it all goes together well. I'm going to make a prediction that the peanuts in Mr. Choco's bullshit bar are going to um, be very poor. They're probably going to taste stale rather than roasted. Yeah. Sort of, do you know what I'm getting yep, at? Yeah, I do indeed. Barry, put your hand out because this is chocolate item number two. Ooh. Stuart, item number two. Cheers. Have you mangled it though? It's just come a little bit when I've pulled it off at the end. <laughs> just... Mate, that is a fucking. Travesty. I don't mind it. Actually. I think it's quite nice, but it tastes very different. It does. I haven't seen it. It's not it. overly sweet, which a lot of these rip-off confectioneries used to be. Um, but the taste that hits you first is of the, the caramel. caramel. It, mm. The caramel hits you first before yep. the before the and peanut. It's exactly taste. like Barry said. It's softer. I'm not getting the dirty taste. No, from the you're peanut. right. The no. dirty taste of the peanut. <laughs> that actually tastes nicer than dirty I thought it would. Mm. But the, it's almost like they haven't they haven't really tried to. Imitate. Yeah. They've gone for the, their own thing. They've which gone, is wise, I think. Yeah. But, um, it's nice, though. It yeah. is nice, actually. Was the first one a real Snickers or a fake Snickers? Uh, it was a real Snickers first on that round. Okay, and yeah. the second was off. Yeah. Stuart? He is absolutely correct. Okay, and um, Barry, where do you stand on this? Yeah, I agree, but the second one, I don't yeah. know what the cost difference is, but we actually do get those at home anyway, and they're, yeah. I, I, they're nice. Very nice. You are all correct. Again, can the I first bloody thing. Yes, off you can now. Yeah. I was trying to flip off Eli earlier, then I didn't know where he was. It was like Judgment Day from Terminator in here or something yeah. like that. Whoa. Oh, no. So, again, Snickers, you can get uh, three for a pound in Poundland, whereas Mr. Choco, I think you get. Yeah, we get loads of those at home, they're lush. You get six for a pound. Okay, so oh, they are literally really half the price. And they're not half the enjoyment, yeah. are they? The they're, chocolate, I'd say they're about 80% of yeah, the enjoyment. Yeah, the only thing is maybe the chocolate's a little different. Not that a little small, bit. Not but tangible. usually with fake chocolate, it's overly sweet, artificially sweet. Mm. And it puts you off. That yeah. is not even a Jaffa cake, is it? No, that's, that's like it. That's something you put under a chair, isn't it, to stop it rubbing on your floor? Well, <laughs> it's yeah. a Jaffa wafer. It's, Overall, it's, though. It's a Jaffa pellet. Where's the Jaffa <laughs> mound? <laughs> Where's the it's mound? It's secreted by a Jaffa owl. <laughs> yeah, there's your mound, right? Look yeah. at that, yeah. Paul. Oh, you no, should yeah. have fucking done some fucking research. <laughs> I didn't have I found to. a knockoff brand that has the same yeah. size, at least. And the, the that's a massive giveaway. Anyway, that was brand off, <laughs> off brand, brand off. Should we end with the jingle? I think we should. Oh, the jingling again, Barry. I'll do the little little little. Yeah, all right. Don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Barry, <laughs> come back. You're okay. in this. Sit down. It's jingle time. Enjoy our jingle. <laughs> 
Oh, off brand, brand, off, off brand, brand, off, off brand, 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 off, brand, off. There we go. Thank you. I think that was a successful segment of Barshans. <sighs> Fuck everything. It's interesting how they're both called Jaffa Cakes as well. Now, they're both called Jaffa Cakes because Jaffa is a type of orange, so you, can't, yeah. you can copyright that, and cake are cakes. Jaffa so. Cake is not a name that's uh, trademarked. Yeah, so it's, like, it's not a trademark name, it's a description of a, a type of mini mm. cake. Yeah, yeah, and it, it is a cake, cake as well, isn't it? Because they had to go to court and justify that it is actually a cake because they right made a massive one because purposes. the tax purposes yes. are taxes on biscuits. Yeah. And they, they built a giant one. Have you ever done a giant Jaffa Yes, Jaffa I have, cake? Yeah. yeah. And it's very tasty. And they said, ladies and gentlemen, come and prod this giant Jaffa Cake. Yep. They've just increased Members of in the, the jury, you can see it's all soft like a cake. And that's how they save tax. I rest my case. What's <laughs> meant to do with the fact that uh, biscuits go soft? When they go when off. Exactly, cakes but cakes go hard. Go hard. Yeah. Rock hard. Well, Somebody. I've lost interest, so let's move <laughs> quickly on.